What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Kanye West back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like he may have a change of heart. After all the doors that were shut in his face this week, as we just explained in my last video, he has finally issued an apology to the Jewish community. Not only did he issue an apology to the Jewish community, he also got his Instagram back and restored, and he deleted every text message that he had up there. And he posted a picture of his mother and he put mama. And he also posted a new text message and it said from someone named Quinn. As to Adidas, you can start to make new designs for footwear, apparel, and accessories immediately. As to Gap, the non-compete expires December 15, 2022. You own the Yeezy name and all trademarks associated with Yeezy. That's suspicious. That's weird. Now click, it looks like he also said in the caption, I haven't got supermodel kitty in over a month. Please send help. What? Um, child. Anyway, so. Now after his apology, Claudia Jordan in the comment section said, do you got any of those the apologies for the black community? And my Sealy voice. <laughs> <laughs> Did George Floyd's family get one of those? Sounds like some street corner madman rambling. Now, Click, I'm definitely going to play an audio clip of him apologizing to the Jewish community, but I will be definitely voice affecting it because y'all know how YouTube be doing me, so I gotta make sure that I'm being a little bit creative with it. Now, y'all already know I make my reservations, and y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it. Y'all take a listen. Apologize when I say I'm sorry to the Jewish people that I hurt. It's it's not about, like I said, oh, I said, I'm not going to hold this apology hostage, right? It's obviously it's about God, but God is everything, right? So what's the point of even having language and being, you can't engineer. If you say God, 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 right? It's like, it's God asks us to be judgmental so that you become, if you're a doctor, right? It's your judgment that saves grandma, right? And God puts that in there. It's like That story about Da Vinci alone is enough of a reason for me to give a sincere apology to the Jewish people. Because I do believe that there's a Da Vinci code inside of all of my misspellings and that God wants me. But if I'm in my way, I'm not listening to God. And for me to be a philosopher and a leader or whatever other language, I have to listen to God. So before God, what I would do is start off as a samurai and say, I'm sorry for hurting you as a Jewish person. I'm sorry for the way that made you feel. And I'm sorry for the entire uh, population of a race that I feel is actually my brothers because I classify and feel that I'm also connected with Christ in that way that my people came from Africa in that way. Well, all right, click. Y'all let me know know in the comments below do y'all feel like he was definitely being super sincere with his apology or do you think that he just only apologizing now because he's starting to feel it now it don't look like that apology held anyway let's just say as of yet because he does have his instagram back but first kanye west donned the academy basketball team is dropped from the prestigious tournament so because of what he did they pulled his school's basketball team out of the tournament tournaments. Now there are reports that the Donda Academy has closed. He no longer has a school. Now Click Hollywood Unlock was able to receive a email that all the parents to Donda Academy received and it said, Dear Donda Academy families, we hope this email finds you well. First, we would like to express our gratitude for the community of families and scholars that Donda Academy brought together. However, at the discretion of our founder, Donda Academy will close for the remainder of the 2022-2023 school year effective immediately thursday october 27th there is no school tomorrow our leadership team will be working diligently to assist all families during this transition ensuring that every scholar has what they need to succeed in their next community in a prompt and gracious manner we intend to begin afresh in september of 2023 and we are confident that our scholars will continue to advance as the creative innovators courageous influencers and academic leaders of the next generation thank you for your support I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing.
Sorry to this man. Anywho, click y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about this situation. I'd love to know your thoughts. I do not have much to really talk about on this situation because it is a touchy topic. However, all I do have to say is in life, you have to make decisions. And whatever decision that you make, you will have to live by it. And lastly, all I'm going to say is they are going to make an example out of Kanye. And if your eyes are not open right now, then you are not woke. If you know, you know. That is all I got to say. Now Next in the click, we got Nelly Chopper back in the click today, you guys. And if you guys haven't seen my last video, y'all can go and check it out right now. But in that video, I talked about him posting a picture revealing his eggplant imprint. And he also exposed his YouTube friend, Aiden Ross. Now, they were spotted yesterday dancing together on TikTok on Aiden's profile on TikTok. Shout out to my queen, Ave Taylor, for even sending me this video because I was actually shocked that they were actually around each other considering the fact that he thought Aiden's comments towards his eggplant was a little sus. Now, NLE actually did a video with Aiden and titled it, I Press Aiden Ross About the Comments He Made. Now, click y'all know I had to go and make my reservations to go actually see if he actually pressed him, but he really didn't. It was actually very friendly and Aiden did not recant his words. He basically said what he said and meant every word that he spoke of about his eggplant. Y'all take a look. Things she said online about me. You know what I'm saying? So, we finna just push up, push the issue on them. Business, real business. We finna have them. What's, What's up, going on, bro? How you doing? All right. Yeah, what's up, bro? About what? What's up, bro? What's up with you, bro? Hey, hey, camera man. What's up with you, bro? What are you talking about? What's up with all this stuff you're doing on social media? Man, you posted it, bro. You po you know exactly what you're doing with that post, bro. You know you're doing that post. Who wants for you though, bro? Who was it for? You put it out to millions. Everyone saw that. You, th you think my rapper friends hit me and was like, damn, I'm not a rapper. God have mercy upon us. Now click it most definitely looked like it was just a friendly situation and they friends in real life. I guess Aiden is just very open about how he feels about things and he doesn't hold it back. It doesn't make him gay. And if he was, oh well. Anyways, y'all, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. But I definitely do agree with Aiden that NLE definitely knew exactly what he was doing when he posted those pics on Twitter. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. But next in the click, we got Brianna back in the click today you guys and brianna if you do not know who she is this is formerly known as miss latruth now she changed her name a couple days ago following the back and forth feud between her and her husband latruth so click just a little backstory if you do not know brianna formerly known as miss latruth came out on social media claiming that her husband allegedly put his hands on her and they were going back and forth stating that this person is lying and that one is lying and we all just don't know the truth however in my last video she was expressing how she was happy that she got a lawyer to get a divorce from him and he also did videos saying that he was never happy with her he was pretending so click it was just a lot of back and forth between both of them but it looks like yesterday she may have had a change of heart because she let mr latruth come over to her home to come and see their daughter that they shared together and in the caption said learning how to co-parent i can never hold my kids back from their father their relationship is everything to them wait a minute wait wait a minute now click i found that hard to believe because when she was exposing her husband one of the things that she said was that he allegedly was fake and that he allegedly wasn't the best dad he just was doing everything for social media and actually his older daughter actually came out to speak her truth on what was going on between her and her father so y'all take a look yeah he grabbed the belt he basically came in and started yelling and then hit me and he kept on hitting me and I was okay with it because he you know it was a hit at first and then he just started hitting me and at this point I was like scared because I saw so much anger in his eyes and he here I was shaking he hit me to the point where my skin was literally falling off and I was bleeding and to that point, I was, I ran to the door. I ran to the door. And 
<laughs> he, dra- he dragged me in through me. And I tried to escape. And I was calling Brianna's name. I was up here saying, help me, help me. And I was scared of that man. And I said that he wasn't my dad because no person that would drag me like that to put my hand on me to call him my dad. And no, I was scared. I was so scared. I'm still scared to this day because I can't look that man in his eye. Now, click if y'all want to see the rest of that live, it's going to be on my Instagram at ccbadbbw2w's. But I'm going to make sure that I reiterate that this is all alleged, even though his daughter did come out and state these claims. I can't tell you guys that is true, but I know my heart definitely goes out to little mama because it is definitely not easy to deal with a parent that puts their hands on you to the point where you're bleeding. And I'm 29 years old. I was born 1993, so I know my parents back in the days we used to get beat with stitching cords i don't know if you used to be beat with stitching cords y'all let me know in the comments below and no that is the worst way to discipline your child i don't care what nobody gotta say i think these kids nowadays got it easy compared to what i had to go through but i'm glad that i went through what i went through because i wouldn't be the mother that i am today so i know what to do and what not to do and in my opinion click i feel like beating a kid does not work so that's not something that i would do as a parent there's plenty other ways you can discipline your child without physically harming them so click i definitely do not condone the things and the claims that his daughter has said about him anywho click y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about that i'd love to know your thoughts now click it looked like miss latruth was receiving a lot of backlash for her actually posting that video earlier with her daughter yesterday being around latruth and she basically went on live to state that she just don't don't want to hear anybody's opinion she don't really have time for it she just want to focus on god herself and she also mentioned that she don't want nobody trying to tell her what she should and should not do now click this is how i feel about it once you bring things to the public and you put everybody in your business on the internet it will always be up and stuck and considering the fact that you made domestic violence claims the people are going to be concerned because it just happened and you're back around him after the fact that you stated that he wasn't allegedly a good father it was all a front not only that the housekeeper his daughter his ex-girlfriend including brianna came out stating that he did some domestic violence claim allegedly so it's like girl you cannot be upset that the people are having opinions and feel some type of way that you're back around this man so soon considering the fact that you said he was mentally emotionally physically abused and now all of a sudden you're screaming out co-parenting and you're claiming him as the father to your children not just the daughter that you both share but you said there meaning your children you're still calling him your children's father so you gotta admit that it's definitely baffling and confusing to the public when we see you with him stating something different and y'all already know on this channel i keep it real so i really feel like she's trying to sweep this underneath the rug and really truly act like none of this happened but it's like since you open Pandora's box we here we riding for you being supportive but we're only going off of what you gave to the public and you said what you said everybody got their opinions of what I should do what I shouldn't do just let me breathe in the moment and live <laughs> my life I like y'all dm stone the positivity and all that good stuff but right now i'm not in the like i'm not focused on making decisions right now focus on healing and that's it i don't want to be forced into anything i want to listen to god you know let god lead me and what i'm supposed to be doing i know that's right <laughs> i know that's right then I'm telling you, when you going through something, God is the only best friend that you need to listen to. Anyways, click y'all let me know what y'all feel about that in the comments below. I'm really hoping and praying that she don't end up back in the click talking about God sent me back to my husband. Girl, we don't want to hear it. I think after what she told us, she most definitely needs to be by herself and work on herself and continue to grow and grind. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. That is all I got for the click update, but now it's 
it's time to get into the click news. We got Natalie Nunn back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like Natalie clearly wants y'all to really tune into her baddie self auditions because she's doing the most right now. <laughs> Now, click and from Batty Self post a picture of the word thought on her stomach area and said, would you get a thought tattoo for $50,000? Now, click, I would absolutely never get a tattoo. I don't care how much you pay me. You would never see the word thought that big on my stomach. But no, 50K. Now, click, however, I think this is definitely cap. I do not think she actually got the real tattoo with the word thought on her stomach. I think they're just doing this just to bring the hype and get the people talking because as you do know that baddie self is actually over and they're still casting for a new one as y'all can see this definitely looks fake anywho click natalie nunn actually posted this caption and says she said she wanted to possibly come back for season three well she had a few options i'll pay you 50k to tattoo thought on you what do you guys think bring her back or let her thought self go and give someone else a spot sound off tune in the audition for Batty West. Blah, 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 blah. Grow up. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all really feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. Oh, and Blueface back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like he just wanted to show you guys that he does not have anything in the refrigerator but a Red Bull. Okay. We do not care. And we really don't because it's not foreign for a celebrity that's pretty much never home to not have food in their refrigerator. Anyways, y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'm definitely going to end it here. That is all I got for the click news. Like we got so much to talk about, so I'm not going to hold you guys. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And most definitely turn that post notification bell on. If nobody told you they love you today, just know that I love you, click. I see you guys in the next upload. Bye. 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 Bye.